What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and uh, of course, I am giving you guys more cards, more stuff from the OCG, and of course, uh, this is something I've been looking for for a minute, but I was so busy giving you guys so much other content. Uh, it's time to look at Invoke. Um, as we all know, Invoke is still one of the biggest additions to Fusion uh, and Fusion gameplay. And the TCG and the OCG, of course. Uh, this is one of the many fusion decks that have been running all over the Yu Gi Oh! Uh, series for the last uh, couple of years. And with rightfully so, I mean, because Invoked is amazing. Uh, especially when you slash it with stuff like Dogmatica, Branded, Speria, um, Shadal, all of those big fusion archetypes or decks that focus around the extra deck itself. Um, Selection 5 uh, is giving Invoked some more love. And first off, I mean, this image right here, if you guys have not already seen it, this is Invocation's alternate art. Yeah, this is Invocation. This is um, Alistar losing his mind to try to save his fellow spellcasters. Um, from the Endymion forces. I believe this is the image of him becoming Kaleguga, or I think, no, um, he's becoming Alistar, the Invoker of Madness, who then becomes Kaleguga, um, in the process of the warped mutation due to the use of the Book of the Law and the large amounts of usage that he's had with the Book of the Law. So, yeah, of course, this is the big moment for him as this is his transformation. This is Invocation Alternate Art. We do have a new spell that also features this madness occurring. This is um, Alpha Summon, known in the LCG as Magical Name by Fomit. Uh, normal Trap, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Uh, target one of your banished monsters and one of your opponent's banished monsters. This will summon your monster to your opponent's side of the field, and if you do, this will summon that opponent's monster to your field. And then we have the reprints of basically every useful card you could need in inf well, basically every card attached to the Invoked series. We have Alistar the Invoker, Alistar the Invoker of Madness, uh, Invoked Kaleguga, Invoked Raideen, Invoked uh, Kokarsis, Invoked Purgatrio, Invoked Magalaniaka, Invoked Mechaba, El Invoked Elysium, Invoked um, Agodius, uh, Magical Meltdown, Invocation, Book of the Law, and Omega Summon. And I do believe there's going to be the regular art for Invocation and then the alternate art for Invocation, which you see up here. Um, this is one of one, two, three, four. I believe it's the one of five other art types getting the um, reprint of a particular card from that art type, as well as the reprints of cards in that art type in Selection 5. So uh, the others, I already have two of them already posted. That is... Um, what the ones that I'm going to focus on anyway, uh, <laughs> the evil twin lie twin archetype, they're getting alternate art for their monster evil twin, uh, Lilium, and then all the amasses, amounts of support that they're beginning, including Lilium Rap, um, our girls, the Sky Strikers, as Cedric or Ace Ray, um, her, her form when she is battling, uh, Shashikir, uh, Ace Shizuku, uh, is getting a alternate art, while the spell card, Red Arrows, is being printed for them. I do believe there's going to be a new card for the only other art that I have not done a video for, and that is, uh, Dragon Maids, as they're going to get artwork to House Dragon Maid, and I believe they're going to get a new support card as well. Sadly enough, I thought they were going to give a new card to Chamber Dragon Maid, since she's the only dragon that does not have a, um, she does not have her, uh, she doesn't have a dragon form. She's the only one that does not have a dragon form. Every other uh, dragon maid has a dragon form and they're all attached to them. And their name, I think, also is just 
the name of their profession with the words mixed up while in the OCG their names are the dragon forms names is based off of the attribute that they have so for her it would be dark most likely it would be dragon maybe Swartz. the problem is how you're going to incorporate that in the tcg when that monster has to come to tc when that card has to come to tcg so we don't know for right now but that is the only one i have in the video and i'm to be very honest with you, I don't have a really big interest in Dragon Maids because it's not a particular archetype that I have any interest in on my own. So, if anyone wants to answer the question, answers the question of, hey, CJ, you didn't do a video on Dragon Maid. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm really not interested in Dragon Maid. And for the most part, I like the theme of the Live Twins being YouTubers by day and, you know, Phantom Thieves by night. I play... I have cards in support for both Sh Sky Striker and Invoked, so that's why they're here. And those are two particular archetypes that I do love, and um, yeah, that's why they are where they are. <laughs> so sorry if I did not get to the Dragon Maids. It's not my thing. But if you enjoy Dragon Maids, then go ahead and enjoy it, and congratulations to getting the support for the Dragon Maid, because I'm sure many of you many of you needed it and deserve it, and you actually deserve a Dragon Maid for your Chamber Dragon Maid, I'm just saying. But, <laughs> with that said and done, you guys, it's going to be me wrapping up this video, and if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. You can also hit the notification bell to, to be informed when I do a little more content, because those things help out this channel tremendously social media links are in the description box below if you guys would like to interact with me on social media they are right there instagram twitter facebook and even the discord so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it you guys are awesome and i will catch you all next time hpj signing out take care